Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. And today, we've got a $100 custom mystery box from Jimmy Jam's Garage. So let's take a look. All right, so Jimmy Jam's Garage Sale. It's a big name. Awesome mystery boxes all the time. Uh, he's been doing some uh, custom ones uh, from time to time. They've always been great. And if you don't know what a custom mystery box is, ask for you give them a list of some stuff that you're looking for. And then they build the mystery box around what you are looking for. Uh, you're, you're more likely to get stuff that you really want uh, at a great time. Jimmy Jams put them up. He said, I'm going to do... A uh, hundred dollar tier, like a 50, 75, 50, I don't know. He had like three three tiers. I said, well, I'm going top tier because at a custom mystery box, I'm going to almost always get stuff that I want. Um, and so I'm willing to spend money. And a hundred dollars is, uh, I, I like to, it's a, it's a nice spot for me on uh, mystery boxes is I want to be able to get something that's kind of kind of cool, but I don't want to necessarily break the bank. Um, although you can't do them all the time. Anyways, here we go. We're going to get right into it. Uh, obviously, there's no slab, and that's great, too. So a uh, hundred dollar mystery box with no slab, I'm all in on that. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get books that uh, fit what we're looking for. Um, and we're going to have a higher dollar value per book. If I'm getting a mystery box that's 100 to $125 and they're throwing a slab in there, i got to figure they're counting that slab as probably half the, pro half the value of the box. That means the rest of the books in there are probably going to be a bunch of filler. Um, all right, so we got ourselves a pack. It's sealed uh, tight here. Oh, it's opening up. That's good. And let's... Oh... Now, I don't understand this. Why are we put, if we're putting our books in this bag to hold them together, why are we taping them together? I don't know, but it is. I do have a post on this side that says open this side. So we will start on this side. As um, usual for what I do here with mystery boxes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through these books. I have not seen them. and We've opened them up together with you. I'll show them off. And then uh, post-production, we will run up here on the side the fair market value or current market value based on what I can find. For that, I will typically utilize cover price. There are a lot of different options out there and what you can use, key collector, cover price, eBay last sold, etc., etc. I like to look at cover price and based on the condition of the book uh, and based on some trends, I'll, I'll, val I'll essentially assign the value. I don't necessarily just pick whatever it says, you know, that is. We'll look because their numbers aren't perfect either. Anyways, it's guided by cover price. Why? Because that's what I use. Your results may vary. All right, so first book up. Bam, we've got uh, Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. That's not, oh, ooh, yeah, 16.1. Issue 16.1 is mile, early Miles. This is early Miles Morales. That's awesome. This is definitely a book I need. And he did mention that he thought he might have been able to come close to finishing a run for me on something, so... So, oh, it's a nice house of mystery. I've definitely been picking up some of this Bronze Age horror. That's great. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man, number 16. So this is um, the third. I think this is the, it's either the second or the third Miles series. Um, but I know that I have like one or two that I'm missing uh, in that run. So that's awesome. Actually, this is probably the most recent one before the current run. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, again, I'm down. Yes, another one, 17. So yeah, this is filling in the gap for what I need on this Spider-Man run. That's great. I have a notation here. It says low print. That's number 18. Ooh, that's an awesome cover. Yes. 
Uh, this one says, first appearance of Iron Spider. Okay, so this is the um, Miles Morales Iron Spider. Okay. Legacy 234. And we have... Oh, a G.I. Joe book. Snake Eyes reveals his identity. I think I, he was running out of certain things. I said, yeah, well, you know, some 80s books, whatever. Whatever's good. So here's a polybag uh, Snake Eyes book. G.I. Joe starring Snake Eyes and Ninja Force. I did not know... That title went that long. There you go. Uh, here's a Transformers 61. This is uh, the first appearance of Unicron and first appearance of Primus. Bow, bow, bow. Say, baby, you want to get down with my shit or do you want to get... Oh, wrong Primus. Uh, let's see. This one says so many deaths. So this is G.I. Joe 100. Casualties of War, uh, First Parents of the Saw, Saw Vipers, and First Appearance of Countdown. And of course had a bunch of um, deaths apparently. And, ooh, nice. Tower of Shadows number one. That's awesome. King's Eye Special. All right, so I will tell you, so this is a great box. I love it. Um, the G.I. Joes and the Transformers, I'm not collecting them. I told him because he needed some more stuff. I said, hey, those would be fine to throw in, that type of stuff. And what will happen is those will be going into the giveaway bin most likely. But the rest of these, the, um, the Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man, the House of Mystery, the Spider-Man, Spider-Man... Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man, and Tower Shadows. These are all going in the PC. That's great. One, two, three. So seven books for the PC. Three, four for the giveaway bin. We had 11 books. Uh, what was our total on this $100 mystery box? And you guys can sound off down below in the comments. Let me know. How did I do on this? Which books did you like out of, best out of this lot? And of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the way out. It really helps us get in front of more eyeballs. More eyeballs means more ad revenue. And that ad revenue all goes to Comics Curing Cancer. Follow us on Instagram to find out everything that's going on with Comics Curing Cancer, including our big summer announcements uh, for Heroes Con and when we start going uh, hardcore for our big October uh, fundraiser. So... Guys, thank you so much. Until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I mean, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.